Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about getting into penetration testing on a budget. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. Let's jump into the video and have some fun. All right, folks. So what I did the last couple of months I think I did three talks on this topic. So I figured I'd just make a video on it because I've been asked many, many times, how do I get into penetration testing? How can I get into it on a low budget? I'm broke as a joke. So I put together this slide and I actually created a talk about this. So if you guys are interested in learning more about it, watch till the end. And if you have any comments, throw it in the comments below and I'm sure to, uh, to read those whenever I can. I'll be sure to read them, okay? So <clears throat> getting started in pen testing is amazing. It's a lovely career, but it's not all hyped up, just hacking all day. There's a lot of stuff that goes in, into it. So just be prepared for paperwork, a lot of you know sitting around research, OSINT, blah, 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 all that fun stuff. It's a part of the job, all right? So getting into penetration testing on a budget. So this is a guide for you know, inspiring cybersecurity professionals and future pen tester or hackers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Obviously, this is a slide that I put together on some talks. So obviously a little bit about me. My name is Patrick Gorman. I also go by InfoSec Pat, which you probably know already. And um, I have a few certifications under my belt that validates my skills. Uh, I have from TCM, P PMPT, PJPT, from ISC Square, CISSP, SSCP, from EC Console, OSCP. There's a, a few of those certifications that I have over the years. So I'm a cybersecurity professional. I have about, I don't know now, I think 13 to 14 years in the field. Um, IT is almost 20 years now. I uh, guess I am old. <laughs> I do IT career coaching or just career coaching as a whole. You know, from cybersecurity, I've helped network engineers get into the field. I do specialize. Before getting into cyber, I was a network engineer. You know, I worked on Cisco, Palo Alto, Checkpoint, all those fun, fun uh, products. Obviously, I'm a content creator on YouTube, which we are here today. My channel is InfoSec Pat. If you're watching this, you probably came across my channel, right? Hopefully, you crushed that uh, subscribe button and the bell so you get future uh, notifications. I started my company, InfoSec Pat, about four years ago now. It was in 2020 when I first started it, my YouTube channel, the whole brand, the whole uh, movement, right? And what is the whole point of my movement? It was to help IT folks and security folks get into the field, right? So yeah, I just do coaching, IT training, cybersecurity training, and uh, I also provide services in the cybersecurity space, okay? And the agenda for today's video, we'll be doing all this intro to pen testing skills and knowledge required, some free and low cost resources, setting up your own whole lab, recommended tools, building practical experience, education or certifications on a budget, networking and community involvement. And then obviously the Q&A is if you have any questions, I'll answer it in, in the comments below since this is a pre-recorded video. <clears throat> so what is pen testing, right? An intro to pen testing, penetration testing is also known as pen testing or ethical hacking, right? So in the security, <clears throat> man, sorry. So is a security, uh, ex it is a security exercise that involves cybersecurity experts simulating a cyber attack on a computer system to identify exploits and vulnerabilities, right? So the goal of a penetration tester is to identify weaknesses in a system and penetrate through those defenses in a organization. And another take back from this is once you're done penetrating the system, you want to have a remediation plan to give your client so they can have that patching. So next time around, you know, it's not as, as, as uh, easy to penetrate and we can uh, identify those vulnerabilities, right? So let me just get a quick drink of water because I don't know why my, my voice is getting chuckly. Or should I say like raspy? I don't know. English is hard, like I always say. <clears throat> All right, so some skills and knowledge required to become a penetration tester. Obviously, understanding the importance of computer networks, 
you know, TCP IP, router switches, different devices, access points and all that good stuff. Understanding the different components, like I just said, familiarity with uh, exploits and vulnerabilities outside of the tools, uh, your two suite, and uh, the willingness to continue to learn. Obviously, I'm learning, I'm doing, for example, Dante right now, right? Everyone said this is a super easy thing from Try Hack Me. I've been working on it for since Monday, and today is Wednesday, so two days. And I have probably 75% done, so I, I'm on the, the edge of hopefully completing it by this weekend, <clears throat> but we'll see, right? So the essential skills is networking, scripting, programming, understanding operating systems like Linux, like Windows, Android. It all depends on what you want to get into penetration testing, like what area you want to penetrate. And then obviously the f security fundamentals, right? What is a CIE triad? What is confidentiality? What is integrity? What is availability? All these different things that, you know, at the entry level fundamental understanding is necessary in order to become a pen tester, at least in my opinion, because without those fundamentals, I think I'll be really lost. Sometimes I still get lost. I'm going to be honest. So, and then obviously the importance of problem solving and critical thinking, right? <clears throat> so what are some low cost or free learning resources, right? So some free resources out there, TCM security, they have their YouTube channel, they have you know, their paid academy, but it's very, very reasonably priced, right? Myself, InfoSec Pat, I have so many videos on my channel that you can learn from. And if you have any ideas what to, you know, what to make, what kind of videos to make, give me ideas. I'd love to hear it and uh, I can put it into video format, right? Cyberry is another good one. Udemy, Coursera. There's so many different platforms to learn. And then you know, you can get free eBooks, you can buy low, you know, you can get sponsored or you can get like, okay, I want to read your book. I can do a review on your book, something like packet. And, and there's so many, there's so many different areas. I was just looking at this book. I just got it. I want to show you. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but this ultimate Kali Linux book is super, super good. And it's from packet from Glenn Singh. I'm really, really enjoying that book. So, you know, you can always reach out to folks and or just get the ebooks or just reach out to me and see if I have an ebook and I can send it over to you. And obviously some blogs. You can, you know, check out some blogs. Red Seer has some stuff. You can go on, you know, Reddit, you can go on different, you know, LinkedIn articles. There's so many different blogs out there, medium blogs and all that good stuff. And obviously you, YouTube channels like myself, InfoSec Pat, like I said, TCM, there's John Hammond, there's Hackersploit. There's so many, so many different uh, avenues to learn. And it all depends on how you learn, right? Sometimes, for an example, I remember going through Ipsec. Love the guy, you know, he's doing incredible things for one box, right? And the way he did it, it just didn't click with me. I forgot what box it was. It was, I think it was a hard box. Like the level was like difficult or hard or insane or something like that. And I was doing it with a friend. This was probably like two years ago. And I was trying to, you know, I got stuck. So yeah, I watched a walkthrough and the way Ipsec did it, it wasn't, it wasn't clicking for me. Right. And then I think I saw someone else do that same walkthrough and it just clicked. Right. And it all depends on maybe the tools they were using or just the way they were conveying the message or whatever. So just find whoever relates to you and who clicks with you. And that's the most important thing. Right. So setting up a home hacking lab, I, I, I harp on this all the time. Setting up your own home lab is so critical. So a home lab is a simulated environment that allows you to gain hands on experience and deepen your understanding of computer systems right? It's a great way to learn practical IT skills because getting into penetration testing, you should have understanding of IT skills because if you don't, you're going to have a hard time, right? Experiment with new technologies, set up different servers, set up different firewalls, routers, different technology in your environment in order for you to expand on that knowledge. <clears throat> So you can also test things out without impacting real production systems, right? This is super important because I'm not gonna 
set off malware on my local desktop, I want to put it on a VM that I have that it's in a sandbox environment, right? So you can practice with, um, with your sandbox environment. So then you can practice setting up networks, like I said, routers, switches, and all that stuff. <clears throat> you can manage your virtual machines. So you could practice your soft skills. And this is what I really, really harp on at the end of this, right? So present what you learn to a family member or a friend. And uh, I, I, th I think I just said this last night or, you know, when I did my BSI in India, I, I, I'm really good friends now with Keith Barker from CBT Nuggets. I love the guy. He's like a big brother, right? I remember him telling me this. If you can teach someone, you really understand what you're talking about. So when I would learn something, if I need to learn it to teach it, I'll teach my daughter, or I'll teach my friend, I'll teach my uncle, I'll teach my dad. They may not understand anything, but the end of it is if you ask one question. Say, for example, you're teaching Active Directory, right? And you say, okay, dad, brother, sister, whatever. Active Directory is a group of objects that are centralized in an organization so we can centralize the centra manage, this, manage it, you know, a centralized environment, right? And um, so at the end of it, you're like, okay, what is AD, dad? Oh, it's something that you can manage components, computers. Okay, cool. You learn that. Thank you. Right? So you're getting some understanding of it. So yeah, you know, if, if you guys have different, you know, opinions, put it in the chat or put it in the uh, comments. I would love to hear. So some recommended tools and software that you need to know to become a pen tester. These are obviously the top level ones. I just put something out there. You can just go out there like, you know, we use CrackMap Exec, we use NetExec, we use Evil WinRM, we use Burp Suite, we use, you know, Bloodhound, we use, you know, Nmap, Wireshark, Kali Linux, you know, CrackMap NG, we use Wi Fi for Wi Fi hacking. There's so many different tools to use if you become an, a pen tester, but it all depends on what you're pen testing, right? If you showed me a tool that you're using to penetrate, you know, I don't know, an Android device. I may not have ever seen that tool because I don't pen test Android devices, right? So uh, it all depends on what you're doing on your daily, you know, your daily tasks for, for your pen test firm or whatever you're pen testing. Okay. So building practical experience. This is, I think, super, super critical, right? So building your home lab, like I harped on before, you have platforms like Hack the Box, like I'm doing Dante right now, the Pro Lab. I think it's super, super cool. It's a little pain in the ass. I'm not going to lie. There's some things in there uh, for a beginner, friendly or intermediate, whatever it is. There's some challenging stuff, at least for me, um, because I'm not a very good CTF man. Um, there's Try Hack Me. I love Try Hack Me as well. Over the Wire, Voln Hub, and there's so many others, right? And if you really want to build upon this, you can start participating in CTF competitions like John Hammond, like GnomeSec, like all these people, they have their CTF competitions. You can participate in there and see how you do, right? <clears throat> so, so now I want to go on to the certifications on a budget, right? So what is a certification and why do you need certifications, right? So here we have, you can validate your expertise. Certifications are a tangible evident of a person's knowledge, skills, and expertise in cybersecurity or pen testing in this case, right? So the first one I always recommend is your Security Plus. It gives you that fundamental understanding of cybersecurity and security as a whole, right? It's not a hands-on practice exam, but maybe to get that, uh, that first job, you need to have a Security Plus minimum, right? <clears throat> then maybe Pen Test Plus. This will probably give you some ideas of how penetration testing works, some of the theory, understanding, etc. Now we can take it to the next level of getting hands-on because practical certifications are key, right? PJPT would be an awesome entry level, getting your hands dirty in penetration testing. The reason being is because not only you're compromising a domain and you can watch my review video on PJPT, I really enjoyed it and my PMPT, but this was a, an exam that at the end of your exam, you have to write a report and submit this report in order for you to get your certification. So it validates what you really did, understanding what you did, understand the remediations that you need to put in place for this, those attacks not to work next time, you know, so hopefully you get the gist. 
and then the EJPT, right? I've I've only taken two of these exams. I never took Pen Test Plus. I never took EJPT. I have my Security Plus from 100 years ago, and I just took my PJPT and PMPT a couple months ago. So the next bullet here, we can you know show commitment to professional development and certifications. Obviously, indicate a commitment on ongoing learning and professional development. That shows employees that you can start something, you can finish something, and you're dedicated and willing to learn, right? So the next thing here we have is help your career advancement. Certifications can help professionals stand out from their peers and advance their careers. And that was funny when I wrote that, I said it the other day, I was like, man, this is a bar. I can say this, right? Like in a rap, you know, you stand out from your peers and advance your their careers, whatever. I don't know. The new Eminem album came out last week and um, I love it. I, I'm a big M fan. I've been since I was, you know, since he first came out. So I can shoot that over to Eminem and say, hey, put this in your next rap. But I don't know if you guys are M fans, if you're listening it, listening to this to this point, if you're an Eminem fan, do you think the death of Slim Shady is his last album? Or do you think that's there's going to be no more crazy Slim Shady and now he's just going to go to Marshall Mathers? Let me know in the comments below. I'm, I'm a big M fan. So the next thing here, we have networking and community involvement. <clears throat> so you can join forms and communities like Discord servers, LinkedIn, <clears throat> Stock Exchange, Discord, local meetups, conferences. I'll be at DEF CON in a few weeks. So if you guys are out there, please say hello and I'll, you know, hang out. And uh, hopefully we hit, hit 100,000 before that. And I'll be doing a three giveaways. I'll be announcing those, uh, you know, as we get closer to the 100,000 mark. But uh, there's gonna be three different giveaways. And one of them, if we get it before DEF CON, it's gonna be super special. So, uh, I announced it yesterday, but I won't, you know, if, if you watch that, if you were on that, you'll, you know it already, but I won't announce that until we get the 100K. So contribute to open source projects and write your own blogs, right? That's super, super important. And that's pretty much the end, right? And no, we, we have one more, I think. And I want to do a special shout out, but um, connect with me on socials, right? Follow me on LinkedIn, Patrick Gorman, InfoSecPad on Discord. You know, IG and Twitter is at InfoSecPat. So, you know, pay me a follow. I, I post some fun stuff, I, what I'm doing, keep up to date, and obviously subscribe to the YouTube channel. And uh, I really appreciate it. And if you have any questions or if you ever want to sponsor, if this, you know, people that watch and if you have any sponsors or whatever, shoot me an email. Or if you have any questions just about anything, pat at InfoSecPat.com. All right. So the next one here is Red Seer Security Referral Program. Right. So if you want to join this, you can refer a new customer to Red Seer for security services and get 10 percent commission on the sale. Right. So if you refer someone to us, we can help, you know, facilitate that security service and you get 10 percent of that sale. So that's pretty cool. Or you can refer your employer for engagements and get 10 percent discount on sponsorship packages at Hack SpaceCon, which was really, really fun this year, or Hacker or Hack RedCon, or five free tickets to the conference of your team, well, for your team, and to donate to underserved communities. So, Red Seer, big shout out to them. And I think that is it. And uh, yeah, now you can hack and learn how to pen test. And if you have any questions, obviously, always leave it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, have a beautiful day.